Good morning, everyone. This is Recalling Key 73, or not Recalling Key. Uh, and it is a new month, which means there is a new season. And of course, with a new season comes a new set of patch notes. So we're going to go over everything that's been changed, updated, and fixed. And we'll go over some of the new features that came into Guns Up. And let's get started. So the first thing we're going to go over is all the patch notes. Uh, obviously, with the new month, there is a completely new battle pass. I'll be going over all the new things in the battle pass, but for now, all you have to know is that there is a difference between battle passes now. Uh, there is an ultimate battle pass. We'll go over what those do exactly. And there's a new thing called battle pass tickets. And there is a new... Uh, there's a new type of currency, so we were talking about currencies, uh, or at least I was talking about currencies in a different video that's going to be coming out probably after this, but basically this kind of currency is the battle pass shop, and it can be found in your battle pass, but we'll talk about that when we're talking about battle passes. For now, let's get into all the uh, bug fixes first. So. Everything in here, this basically just improved UI. There's better, better like, uh, there's just better UI, just in general, better UI. Um, everything, it's just, it's very subtle fixes, some things that were bugs and whatnot. But uh, for some, some of these things I never ran into, so I never really paid attention to it. But we did fix, they did fix an issue about the mission area. Where is the mission area? Uh, you can now claim achievement. Uh, before, in the last patch, you couldn't. It was a big, major bug. You couldn't claim achievements unless you had a daily mission or a special with it at the same time and then click to claim all. That was the only way to claim these missions. So I'm glad that is fixed because that was annoying me big time. Uh, other issues that were fixed were, let's see here. Uh, this is something that annoyed me as well. Fix the fire focus used to have units run forward <laughs> uh, while it was active, uh, which was really stupid because the entire point was for them to stop and start shooting. So I'm glad that's fixed as well. Uh, I never ran into this one, but apparently veterans wouldn't lose their lives sometimes, so that's cool. Uh, I wish that was still a bug. Haha. <laughs> Let's see here. Fix the rare case where alliance missions might grant different rewards. Dude, I wouldn't notice that one. Honestly, just overall, some bug fixes. Let's get into some of the better juicier stuff. Such as the friendly battles button. If you go over to, if you are a part of any kind of alliance, uh, please join the Golden Republic. It's a free to join guild. The next season starts in eight days and uh, we will be getting to gold, hopefully. Uh, it, it, should be, it should be a lot of fun, but hopefully you guys decide to join. But they went ahead and added a friendly raid option. So now you can raid your friends. Uh, it doesn't cost anything, so you can really bring whatever you want. If I did this, it wouldn't cost me any gas, it wouldn't cost me any items, uh, and it wouldn't cost me any veterans, and it's a lot of fun. It's a good way to, uh, you know, share a moment with your alliance uh, and really have them help you build a better base. Next is the uh, new type of consumable, which is a rush token. Uh, these speed ups, I should say, are, uh, are used in building. They go ahead and skip literally however much time is on them. So this one's a 15 minute or a five minute one. This is one that you get from the new uh, daily achievements for today. Uh, if I use this, it'll take five minutes off, supposedly. It did. Yeah, now it's instead of, yeah. So it's cool, it's, it's nice, it, it's a new type of currency thing. Uh, you can get it from here, it's, you know, whatever. Next thing is, uh, let's see here. Incinerary rounds, they are a new type of uh, equipment. So I have to make a whole new video or redo the video that I was, I was doing, but basically, I haven't unlocked them yet, but from what I understand, they have a chance to light a unit on fire, which is pretty cool. 
you're gonna want to use this equipment on anything that shoots very fast so my guesses would be the assault units you could use it on the grunt uh, MG shock troops anything that shoots rapid fire I would use the uh, fire thing on it definitely the commando if you have them yeah that's what I would use that for uh, next is the actual battle pass so this battle pass is uh nothing nothing too interesting but it does give two different units uh this battle pass is all about the bomb raider and the riot uh the riot uh gear person so if you don't have those or are you looking for a level up this is the battle pass for you go ahead and buy it for five bucks you can get or i think it's more like six bucks i believe for about eight dollars, okay, I was way off. For eight dollars, you can get basically everything, and it's pretty good. Uh, it looks beefy. Would it be? Do I think it's worth it? Uh, yes, because they also give these new commander chests. So if you were not here for October, the commander chests are basically the Halloween crates for this season. And that means that these chests probably have a higher chance to have a uh, bomb raider or rider in them, I think. It doesn't specifically say that. Like, the Halloween chest actually said that. But if you're looking to spend gems, this is the chest that you want to open. This crate, the commander crate. Because you can buy 10, guarantees a legendary, uh, guarantees a bunch of epics, and they're just insane. I'm going to have a guess they're just like the Halloween ones. You have a chance to get the full unit. It's insane. Definitely a steal if you if you want to spend your gems. I'm already halfway there, so I will definitely be doing it this season. Uh, and the season pass gives you a couple of them. Uh, you can't save them up. They're not keys, so that sucks. You also get the new equipment from there. But yeah, it's a... Oh! New change. Thank God. Last season, this wasn't a thing, but new change. When you finish the battle pass, like me and a couple other people had, days early, uh, if you keep playing and getting these points, you get a free bonus commander crate, and that is so nice. If I had this for the Halloween event, I probably would have a higher level scientist. Uh, the free and paid for battle pass gives you these uh, battle pass tickets. These tickets are used in the battle pass shop. The Battle Pass shop has a couple interesting things here. It looks like none of this refreshes, by the way. So this is it. This is everything. Uh, so if you didn't get the Scientist and you're only a couple medals away, you can go ahead and grind those tickets for some Scientist medals. Other than that, there's not much in here that I would say is so important that you buy it right away. I think this is the springtime uh, background, but... It's currently disabled, actually. They sent a message saying it's disabled. It's pretty buggy or something like that. Yeah, there's not much in here that I would say get unless you have uh, legendary units that you want to level up and chip. Uh, the season boost for today. This is the ultimate boost. So this one's pretty interesting. If you have a high level unit, high leveled up unit. So let's say you have a level nine unit and you have another unit that you want to use. Go ahead. If you have the ultimate battle pass, Put that level 1 unit in the first slot, and it will also be level 9, which is pretty insane. From what I understand, I don't own it, so there's no way for me to actually tell, but apparently you get the you get to save veterans from dying, so it keeps them from harm completely. How many veterans this stores uh, is beyond me, but uh, it does seem okay. Is it... Is all of that $15 worth? I don't know. I don't think so. I would just say if you want to get anything, get the $8 one. Uh, if you want to go all out, though, don't backtrack because I don't think this gets any cheaper. Uh, other than that, that seems to be about everything. Go ahead and buy anything that you haven't bought. Remember that the Alliance War is happening soon in eight days. You have a free Alliance to join if you want to join this one uh, for the Alliance War, and I will be posting about it. Uh, other than that, I want everybody to have a gold night and to see you guys later. That's basically it.